this is what our uh, fifth uniform from Stanberry, uh, the Baltimore Colts marching band. Um, we played for the Baltimore Stallions as a Colt band, then the Ravens first uniform, then uh, the second uniform, which we just, you know, retired. And now this, and it's all been uh, Mike Pearson and Stanberry, all those uniforms in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So Stanberry is in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Over the years, going down to watch the Ravens and their operation, it became evident to me, this is this is bigger than just a community band. This is the city of Baltimore. And John took a lot of pride, takes a lot of pride. The people in the band take a lot of pride. He knows what he wants and we give him what he wants. And it's been a great relationship with Stanbury and the Baltimore Ravens. Well, the band was founded September 7th, 1947 for the All-America Conference Baltimore Colts. At the end of the 1950 season, um, the team was disbanded. The band stayed together 1951-52 without a team promoting Baltimore back into pro, foot, pro football. 1953, the Dallas Texans were moved to Baltimore to become the new Baltimore Colts. And of course, they adopted the band. 1984, team moved to Indianapolis. And then, of course, the band stayed together for 11 years, performing at 30 NFL halftime shows, plus uh, the Pro Football Hall of Fame parades when uh, the Models moved to uh, Baltimore and brought the uh, Browns to Baltimore, became the new Baltimore Ravens. We became the Baltimore's Marching Ravens. We wouldn't be here without the Ravens front office, the dedication they give us, the financial aspect they give us, and the love they give us. David Modell and I had many, many meetings. Again, it's Art Modell's son. And what he wanted to establish, and I wanted to establish, a game day atmosphere. And that's exactly what we established, getting the fans geared up musically. And that's the investment of promotion that the Ravens put into their uh, band. Well, we started in like, I guess, 2017. And we started with ideas and it was, I guess it was a labor of love. And of course we pulled in Stanberry and that's when you know, Jesse got involved and Michael got involved, what we wanted. And they took our ideas and they, they ran with it. It was really cool. Uh, it was a little daunting at first. Uh, when you're dealing with a, a whole organization like that, you have a lot of people that have their own different opinions. And the final product, I would say, is a combination of, of multiple designs that we had worked on. Um, but ultimately, the final product, I think, turned out really great. I cannot say enough wonderful things about Jessica Pearson. I'm a fan. And I've dealt with a lot of uniform companies and designs. And she nailed it. She incorporated the love and devotion of the city of Baltimore and state of Maryland. And Maryland is the type of state that you cross over that border into Maryland and you see their flag everywhere. I just think it gives it more contemporary feel while sticking true to kind of Maryland's roots. And the Stanbury Company, the people in the back, people in the front office have done just a tremendous job from start to finish and taking our ideas and with John's ideas and everything and then putting it together with the, the people of Stanbury. Being with Stanbury as long as I've been with them over the years, which is a long time, we take pride in what we do. And it's, uh, it's, it's great to be affiliated with Stanbury. So the NFL recognizes our history for 75 years. And of course, a big part of that is Stanbury uniforms.